Hey guys, welcome to Cycle Zen vlog number 12, volunteering in Amsterdam. Oh, hi, Annelise. <laughs> this must be Cycle Zen. Hi, Cycle Zen. <laughs> so, we met Ilma at a time probably of uh, great need, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like <laughs> the universe aligned mm -hmm. and sent us into each other's paths because we were pretty down and uh, desperate. Yep. Yeah. We've been wild camping around Amsterdam and staying in some campsites, mm -hmm. looking for work, found that very difficult, mm -hmm. and looking for volunteering places, mm -hmm. and again, found that um, there wasn't that many. No, and um, we saw one advert that kind of stood out to us, and it was a lady in uh, Amsterdam who has a yoga house, uh, Ilma Yoga House, and um, she wanted people to come and help her produce some videos to talk about her her business but more than that she wanted to get her voice out there and she wants to talk about the things that are really important at the moment doesn't she? yeah she's an incredible character yeah yeah <laughs> she's um sometimes in life you meet people that are just full of love kindness and you meet them and you feel like just their energy is on a different level of vibe Mm -hmm. And Ilmer is one of those people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi there. Welcome. Welcome at the Ilmer Yoga House. And we, we would love to share with you, um, to tell a little bit how we met. And the intermediate between us was Helpex. So this is also like a promotion for this uh, way of living, Helpex or work away, you could call it. It's a way of living um, by um, giving value to each other's life. So you're exchanging energy and there is a, yeah, an exchange in uh, experience. And this has a lot of value, but there is no money involved. So yeah, you could call it uh, the new living, but actually this has been existing for years. It's called bartering, mm -hmm. maybe there's other names to it. Mm -hmm. Let's, local exchange trade systems. Yeah. But yeah, I've always been joining as a host, Helpex host. Now I have Lissy and Sean, they're my Helpexers, but I have also been on the other side. And the other side is, <laughs> I've been Helpexing since I was 18 in kibbutz ashrams. All kind of products, but today I'm going to talk to Sean and Lisi about mm -hmm. what brought them to this Ilma Yoga house in Amsterdam. Discovered Helpex online in April, maybe mm -hmm. was it March even? Yeah, of March, this year, March 2020. Um, when we had the initial um, plan to go and tour Europe on our bicycles, basically. That was our that was only our initial desire, actually. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have any knowledge of health links. Mm -hmm. Well, we discovered it because um, we realized we couldn't leave the UK. So we had to stay there for, um, you know, a couple of months before we could actually come here. And yeah. um, we were really lucky because we went to um, Steve and Maria's I know the watch as well, so yeah, um, 
That was in our local area. It was only, you know, 20... Steve and Maria. Yeah, Steve and yeah, Maria. They were Steve and Maria, check it out. Help uh, people. They were our first Helpex hosts. Yeah, on they? the bee farm. Yeah. You know, and it was the one of the nicest experiences to ever meet some people under, yeah. you know, in a nice circumstance because um, we'd left our home, it was locked down, everything was crazy, and they totally welcomed us in. They gave us shelter and they gave us, you know, food from their, yeah. their organic garden. So, mm. um, you got some uh, honey. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We had some beautiful honey. Yeah. So, you know, the first experience ever on HelpX was absolutely. That's amazing. a nice welcoming, right? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. yeah and it, it was, was, and so it was, yeah, it was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like yeah. an oasis uh, mm -hmm. in uh, uh, that they, what they had created there. Mm -hmm. in, in, Flower garden, I guess. Yeah. They are amazing, it was, amazing yeah, flowers. Yeah, I've never seen such, um, yeah. uh, especially in the UK as well, in the climate. Yeah. So it's some really interesting, because obviously the bees need loads of um, flowers. Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we learn a lot about bees, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. But just the lifestyle of of, um, yeah. of Stephen Maria's lifestyle, mm -hmm. like you know, very um, you know, very really committed to their their little piece of land you know mm -hmm. and that was connected with the earth yeah, yeah that was that and that was like the first big eye opener it was like wow you know mm -hmm. we stumbled across mm -hmm. and it was what the funny thing was is it was in our back garden yeah and so instantly we were like this is a blessing in disguise you know because if if it weren't for corona we wouldn't have gone there and, and had that first experience we went to uh, i can't say it Duinen van weldadigheid. Ja. Yeah. Duinen yeah. van weldadigheid, lieve mensen, in Nederland, in het noorden. Ja. Ja, amazing place. We were hosted by the lovely um, Lambert and Yolanda there, mm -hmm. weren't we? Yeah. Um, and the garden, the, the tune of um, Veldadigheid, <laughs> something like that. Duinen <laughs> van weldadigheid. <laughs> I'm still working on my Dutch. Um, yeah. That was our second place, and yeah, that yeah. was again amazing. And you can see our videos on those places on CycleZen.com and CycleZen YouTube. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of videos where we stayed on the farm, and we show all about the lifestyle that they had. Mm -hmm. And also, you can see the videos about um, the bee farm, Stephen Maria's farm mm -hmm. in Norfolk as well that we helped next on. So um, yeah. and then. Uh, we set off from there after two months. This, I'll try and keep this short. This story. Yeah. <laughs> Cycle Zen is evolving. So Cycle first Zen. was the bee farm. Secondly, yeah. was the uh, the, the the organic potato the organic farm. potato, potato farm in the Netherlands. Care called. farm and many other things. Garden of humanitarian garden. Yeah, well, it suppose. was a beautiful um, place. So. Um, yeah. And then we left there and we toured around Germany and long story short, we came back to the Netherlands. Back to the Netherlands, yes. We basically were looking for some kind of opportunity or something we could do here and volunteering again. And that's where we came across Ilma Yoga House. We, we have to say at that point though, if you look at the other videos, you'll see that we were we weren't just looking, we were in desperate need for <laughs> shelter yeah. after a month on the road. You <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. So yeah. it was um, yeah. it was yeah uh, you know such a right. we a there. nice experience, you know, to, to, to call out for through Helpex again and find somebody that just, you know, Ilma just knew straight away that that we had a, a bond and also could see what we could give each other and Yeah. You know, it was um, that's it, I believe that things happen for a reason and this journey proves all of that, really, doesn't it? You it know? does for us, yeah, and yeah. Little, uh, you know, perception of how things have planned out mm. Mm -hmm. has been, yeah, it's been, it's evolved, it's been really organic yeah. and yeah. guided it's by... It's been really organic, that's yeah. the phrase. Mm -hmm. And it's just been guided by kind of, kind, you know, people's kindness, you know, yeah. like you, you, An your kindness and, it's yeah, kindness of our hosts, yeah, yeah, and completely. and then I feel hopefully that we've given back that kindness in our kind of efforts to help. Them. Yeah, and get and definitely and, did. You know, definitely did. So and that's yeah. what has been yeah, the eye opener, the explosion in the brain. Yeah, yeah it's been um, it's been it's been a, 
a total cool thing, huh? life break. Yeah. And um, and that often That's sounds thing, really bad, break, but I mean yeah. that in a really good way. It's okay. allowed us to reset, hasn't it? Yeah. And split. You make a split. In yeah, your yeah. Own. yeah. And yeah. now now there's a totally different yeah. path for both of us. Yeah. You know, than compared to what I thought I was going to be doing a year ago, even just a year ago. You know. So. I feel like I'm going back New to journeys. the UK, but I'm but we're not going back to the same us in the UK. You know. Mm. And you know, I know it's a bit of a cliche, like oh, you know, you go take some time traveling and, and going around, and you know. And, oh, it changes you, but and changes stuff. And I do feel like I've changed a lot. I still feel like I'm myself, but I feel like I'm, you know, just like more able. Yeah, I just feel That's like I feel, yeah. we've, well, at the end of the day, yeah. we've, we've taken ourselves out of the 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 um the machine, you know, like the the the. the the nine to five, you know, but not really nine to five. It's five to to seven at night. Mm-hmm. Um, sixty hour a week plus yeah. the forty hour a week in your dreams that they take from you. Um, mm-hmm. Lifestyle, and you've realised actually you can you can just be yourself. Thank you.